So how do you level up fast in Steam? Let's find out. This is how we, I'm going to give you all the background on it. So you guys can see this is my profile here in Steam. Here's my level in the top right. Um, obviously, you want to click on your level and you can see what it's made up of. And it says here how much experience I need to level up. So just in simplest terms, to level up, what you need to do is just get uh, craft badges. So what does crafting a badge mean? There's a bunch of trading cards you can get per game. For instance, here's Gary's Mod. To craft the Gary's Mod badge, you have to get all of the trading cards. And you can see I've got one of this, one of that, one of this. This one in the parentheses is how many I have. One of that. Once I get all of these trading cards, I'll be able to, oh, and this one. I'll be able to craft this badge. And the second I craft the badge, you can see there it's a spammer. What will end up happening is I'll get that 100 experience added to my level and my I'll, I'll be able to level up. That, in an es in essence, is the only way really to, to get to really high levels. Um, you do get stuff, like if you see here at the bottom, um, you do get stuff for buying things during the Steam sales. You get, you get points for buying games. But outside of buying games and, and buying stuff during Steam sales and how many years you've been in, as a part of Steam, you really have the only other way is to craft Steam badges. One of the easiest badges to do if you don't have very many games or you don't want to start with that is this Community Ambassador one. This one is is a is a badge everyone gets. It won't say Community Ambassador. I think it'll say like Pillar of the Community or something like that. Uh, you'll see a bunch of different tasks on here to complete. What you need to do is you need to go through. Um, complete them. Like I said, here, post a screenshot, link your Steam and Facebook account. By the way, for linking accounts, if you don't want to link your real Facebook, you can always make another one. To be honest, me, I don't use Facebook, so I had like a, I had one Facebook for Immortal Phoenix just for my fans. I just linked that one. Um, and every time you do one, you'll go ahead and see these pictures come up. So once you've done 22 of them, I think there's 26 in total you'll have the highest level which is community ambassador you don't have to do all of them you can see I didn't trade I didn't do you know I haven't even crafted a badge myself so um, even without crafting a badge even without doing a lot of other things just having a, a an okay collection of games um, will usually get you a pretty high level so so you might be saying okay well how do I get trading cards? Give me some information on trading cards because I want to be able to make badges and craft badges, right? But how do I do that? We just went over, well, the way you do that is, like, for instance, here's the game to the moon. Oh, no, wrong page. I got to go to uh, my badges page. So, so Gary's Mod, here are the trading cards. Um, how do I get more? You, see, you, guys, you guys see there's some that are grayed out. So typically what Steam will do is Steam will allow you to take about half plus one of the total amount of trading cards in a game if you just play it. So what, is, what does just play it mean? So let's say I just bought this game. There's some games on here you'll notice I have no trading cards for. For instance, Bastion. I've never played Bastion. It says here three card drops remaining. That means Steam will give me three out of the five cards automatically for free it could be three of one card you know so there's duplicates it could be two of one one of the other but steam will let me have three chances at cards here how do i get those you just play the game now you don't even have to be honest one thing i do and you don't really necessarily like you can do if you don't want to play a game just having the game open tell steam that you're playing it steam's not smart enough to know whether you're actually playing the game you're actually doing stuff if you literally just have the game open in the background i've noticed every hour you tend to get one of these drops so in about three hours if i leave the game bastion open i should get three different random selections here so often you won't get three new cards you'll sometimes get a duplicate um so again back to the original question how do i finish off my series so I get a certain amount of free ones from Steam. I get a certain, and then there's a certain amount that you need before you can craft a badge and get that 100 experience. You can see here a lot of them are 100 experience. How do I do that? The key thing you need to do is go to the market. So you guys can see I already have 8 cents in the market. That's for selling a, a trading card for, uh, for it, I sold a trading card for 10 cents, but I only got 8 cents back because a little bit goes to Steam for being the, the person in between. So, 
what you have to do is um, you go to your inventory. So I'm going to show you guys my inventory right now. And there's a bunch of bad. There's a bunch of trading cards here, right? You guys can see them. Um, there's no duplicates here, but pretend. Let's say I had two of this card and I want to sell one. You click sell, and it'll tell you around the average of what it's selling for, 11 cents. You click sell, and it'll tell you the trading history and, and the price of this card. Um, you click over here by buyer pays. So how much do you want the buyer to pay? If I want the buyer to pay, let's say, $5, Steam would give me $4 back. Obviously, no one's going to pay $5 for this, though. It, it was saying, like, on average, it sold for 11 the best place to get data is not here. I don't like this graph. So you see the name Wilson. We're going to go into badges and we're going to search for the badge of Wilson. So we're going to go to market. We're going to search for Wilson. So this is again, if I have, I'd sell this if I had an extra. I'm not going to sell the one I have now, but let's say I got two Wilsons, right? And that happens sometimes. So there, we're on the Wilson page. Now what this is, this is the data you want to look at. For people, there's certain people who want this card right now. So right now, if if I wanted to sell this Wilson card, there's 17 people who are willing to pay 10 cents right now. So I click sell, put 10 cents, boom, right away they'll buy it. Once these 17 people have their card, there's 529 people that are willing to buy it for 9 cents. What about what about people who actually have it on the market right now? So there's there's two on the market right now for 11 cents that no one's bought. So what what it's telling me what I would do personally is I I'd, I'd probably put it for 12 cents and say well these two are probably going to get bought out and then I'll be the only one at 12 cents personally so that that's that's what I would market it at let's say you're the type of person you don't want to wait you want to sell it right away this second you don't care about missing out on a few pennies just sell it for what these people are willing to buy it for right here they're willing to buy it for 10 cents if you if I list this right now this card at 10 cents I will get an immediate buy um, you'll notice in the top of my account, it'll say, um, you know, that I made eight cents. See, eight cents right there. So, you'll make you'll make your money right away. So, even though you sold it for ten cents, uh, like I said, Steam will take a bit of that money away. So, that and literally this money, if I sold enough trading cards, you could use that balance to buy games technically. But um, you're not going to get rich off this scheme because trading cards don't just get given to you for free. You get them by buying games, and the second you buy a game, you've already put in money. So, anyways, that's an aside. Now you know how the market works. You can see I'm already selling three cards here. I'm selling this for seven cents, this for seven cents, this for six cents. Let's say let's do one more example so you guys can get how this goes. I want to sell this Eye of Cthulhu right away. I wanted to sell like right now, and you guys can go and see right here. I'm selling it for six cents, right? Who who would pay right now for this card and what would they pay? Let's go find that out. So, oh, one other thing before we go into this. There's foils, which are rare. They're harder to get, and there's regulars. So if a card is a foil, if a card is a foil, it just means that it's a rare card. It has a rare border. It has a rare border. And it means that um, it'll it's harder to get, and there's only 200 of them for sale. So, We'll click on the normal one. All right, so we're clicking on the normal one, and right now, immediately, there's for four cents. There's 294 people that'll buy it. So I'm selling it for six cents. If you were to immediately change that to four cents, boom! Right away, one of these 294 people would be given uh, the card right now. So it just depends how long do you want to wait. If you don't care, you just you don't care about a few cents here and there. You can sell it right away. For four cents, all right. So that's you guys know how to get trading cards now. You know about badges and stuff, and you we did we did also go over the uh, co community ambassador. Outside of that, that's really it. Um, like I said, there's games if you haven't played them, you uh, you you won't get the trading cards for them until you do. And if one quick way around that is if like I said, uh, if you just open the game leave it there at the side about every hour you'll get a trading card just randomly so some of these games um if i want i can just go ahead and pull it open and i sh i would be fine uh just leaving it there i get card drops there's one last thing i want to explain before we go and it's a question that a lot of people have is how do i get booster packs so what a booster pack is and and again this guide which i'll link in the uh, description 
it goes into what that is. What a booster pack is, is it gives you the opportunity to get a few more cards for a particular game. So a lot of you will see this button right here on the top right. It says view my booster pack eligibility. So certain games, you'll see the ones listed here, there's a small chance depending on your level that you'll get a booster pack for any of these one games and get trading cards. This is extremely rare. You have to have really high levels for it to uh, for it to really matter much. For instance, if you're level 20, I think you have a 20% chance of getting a booster pack. If you're level 10, you have a 10% chance. They're extremely rare. I would say don't count on them because you probably won't get one and you might be playing for like a year. Some people claim they're, they're like at level 20 or 30, they get like one a month if they're lucky. Um, for me, since I'm like level 7, I think I might get like one a year. So don't worry too much about booster booster packs. This is just showing you what games you might get booster packs for. And if there's a game that you want to get booster packs for, there's a number of different things you have to do, but maybe the main thing would be just, just play that game. So if I wanted to get booster packs in Bastion, just play the game. Uh, you have to log into Steam every week, and then you should be become eligible for that game. Um, and that should be it, guys. So that's my Steam level. We went over what trading cards were, how to get new ones, how to sell your duplicates. Um, we went over the basic idea of how to level up. The only way really to level up is to craft badges. You can only craft badges when you have every single one of a certain trading card. And um, I think... and we went over the community ambassador which i think which which is called something else it, it only becomes community ambassador once you have unlocked a certain amount of them um and uh, yeah that's that's literally the, the the i'm using the word literally wrong that's um the only way really to uh, increase your level is just craft badges get trading cards sell trading cards um, you might be saying, well, if I don't want to sell, if I don't have any duplicates and I don't want to sell any of my trading cards, how do I get money for buying uh, trading cards? Currently, Steam, the lowest amount of money you can put in is five bucks. You basically send them five bucks, and with that five bucks, you could go around buying as many trading cards as you want, crafting badges, and increasing your Steam level as a result. Uh, that's the only way outside of selling trading cards to increase the amount of money in your account. And like I said, five bucks is the minimum. So you, I wish they'd let me buy like a buck's worth or maybe two bucks, but that's just what they've decided. Maybe the cost of, for the transaction is too high, so they want to make it worth their time and just do five buck increments. But that should be it, guys. It, this is a little bit long, but I wanted to be very detailed. Um, you guys know how to increase your Steam level. This is my Steam page. And if you've got any questions, just ask, ask them down below. Thank you. Bye.